And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today's plan is we want to fill these prisons to capacity. We have a, uh, a raid that's been coming in. Was it 118 humans? And we want to try and capture as many as we want. I want to aim for like about 75. Like, we're, we're, okay, we're not capturing any more than 75. Because that's the amount of pawns we have. And that's the rules. We're not allowed to have more prisoners than we have pawns. Otherwise, it gets really complicated. But uh, let me get this all fired up and good to go. Here they come. Pirates from Emily's X's are beginning their assault. Therefore, we will begin turning on the oven. There. One there as well. Don't set yourself on fire. Don't set yourself on fire. Good pawn. Right. Equip that heavy machine gun. Then we're going to put the... Uh, yeah, we're going to put those done. All right, we've got that set. It's time to wait for them to... Yeah, they should be coming straight for the kill box. I double-checked the perimeter. There is no wool or anything weird stuck in doorways. We should be fine. Oh, I should close that door too. Let's make sure that we close both those doors. Just in case. With the amount of firepower we're throwing down range, we might accidentally destroy that wall before we get a chance. We should only have to kill a few of them before the rest of them stroke out. Oh, that's not a good sign. The first one into the tunnel has a doomsday. Well, that means the first person to die is also going to be holding a doomsday. Oh, and remind me to bring some grenadiers. They do have shield packs, so we're going to want to make sure we're laying down lots of EMP coverage on the, the mouth of this. All right, let's see. How you doing, buddy? Your health is go-juiced. Mmm, delicious. Heat stroke 12, 13, 14. Yeah, they're definitely going to make it to the end of the tunnel. Uh, yeah, they're at the halfway mark. You know what? I'm going to start getting the team together. Oh, they're starting to take heat damage. How hot has it gotten in there? 185, that's a little bit toasty. That's not slowing them down, though. Even the few, like, sometimes the minor injuries cause them to fall over or die. But yeah, these ones are not even thinking about it. Oh, God. They're still staying blobbed up. Stop, stop staying blobbed up. I want you to, to spread out. All right, I'm going to get our firing line positioned. And here they come. First up, we've got a doomsday person. They don't get to shoot. That was that was really what I was hoping would, would happen. Uh, no one seems to have a shield belt at the start here. What are you at in terms of heat stroke? It's up to serious, but we're going to need about 60%. It's only at 39. We need them to bounce way back if you want all of them. Come on. Yep. Okay, so that's popping all the shields, which is good for us. Jesus. All right. I think, I think we've got sufficient firepower to take care of this. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're going to have to kill a few more. How many are still alive? 96. Mm. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot during the capture process. We'll maybe get 50 if we're lucky. And that's another one down. Okay, there's... Right, I think it's time we move forward. You, what's your? what are you at, heat stroke wise You are at 52. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We need people to hit 60 before they start falling over. Sometimes they fall over a little bit before if they're injured enough. Hmm, hmm. No, we need to start putting out the fires and turning this whole place into a prison area. This is going to take a few minutes. One little fun thing to note, John here is trying to exit. John carries a low shield pack. So I told everyone to not shoot. We don't want them shooting just yet. There they are. No, 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 sorry, wrong person. That guy. Yeah, there we go. Beat them unconscious. We want their shield back. Perfect, perfect. Okay, with that done... Oh, damn it, why are you still standing up? Heat stroke zero. Yeah, you're going to break down that door, aren't you? But we should still get enough. We're going to put out the fires this way. Turns all it. Yep, yeah, just, just give me a few more minutes. We actually had to light the fire a second time just to keep the flames up. Some people started to wake up. But... I think we've captured captured a fair few. I'll have to go over the numbers when we're finished, but I think this was a rather successful capture session, and it's not over yet. We still have... Yeah, as you can see, there's a mass of people going through trying to pick up more. It's just a case of micromanaging all the people as they come back to capture even more. Come on, seriously, there's, there's a few left in here somewhere. Unfortunately, a bunch of prisoners kind of died there near the end. The heat stroke finally got to them. Yeah, it was the heat stroke extreme that finally killed them off, but it was just some of them were waking up and it was interfering with the capturing process. So we did well, but not as well as I was hoping. So in that one fell swoop, we managed to capture 53 prisoners. Whether or not they all survive, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get around to that in a bit. First, we just though want to treat them, take care of the enormous amount of infections they're going to get from all the burns, and Hammer's just going to stop and have a snack on whatever that guy is. Oh, that reminds me, I should strip all the corpses to make sure if see if any of them have those shield packs. The cleanup has been 
problematic. Let's just say we've already lost a prisoner to a berserk one that we had to just shoot him down. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of infections. I have no idea if they're going to survive. But, you know, I'd say we'd get a good 30 or 40 out of this, probably. Jesus, but so many of them are going berserk. I imagine it's been a rough day for them, considering how many of them have ended up captured. Nope, four hours you're going to die. Ooh, let's see. Guilty for 10. Okay, if you survive, you survive. I'm actually not really in a rush to save half of these. There's too many and too much of a mess. A few less prisoners won't be the end of the world. Whew. Oh, a masterwork. A large marble sculpture. This sculpture sh shows 43 Cadies marrying 469 Halo Davis while both laugh gaily. Cadies is blowing air at Halo Davis. Like, with, like in his face? Or with a... F you know what? It's, it's just weird. That's the wonderful thing about the art in this game. It makes no sense. I think that can go down here. Actually, wait, no. No, no, we're going to have to put in another sleeping area for all of these. So I think we'll save it for... We'll save that, that uh, masterwork for our next dining area, which will be, oh, probably over here somewhere. I've been checking out this area, and I'll have to rip up those... Yeah, this area here, this is perfect for another dining area. Dining area slash sleeping quarters because we can't use it for farming. It'll work out for something else instead. All right, but uh, let's see if we can't salvage a few more of these prisoners. This is... This is, it's good, but it's a nightmare taking care of this many. But on the bright side, actually, we can start the recruitment process now. Was it? Yeah, let's crank up recruitment all the way to 11 of these. We're also going to have to start using our special abilities to reduce the resistance. And slowly but surely, we'll start on the weakest ones and work our way up. So anyone who's got 20 resistance or higher, we use the special ability on them. Anyone who's lower than that, we'll just let them work off their resistance naturally. Whew. And uh, let's see how many of the relatives died. Checking the logs, we've only killed two of the six people that came to attack, or was it five? Whatever. But a fun thing is that number 36, uh, Uber Kitten, if we check under their social, it turns out we got attacked by their husband and we've managed to capture their husband. Um, recruitment time, I suppose? They've only got eight resistance. Perfect. We'll recruit them as quickly as possible. Uh, we should maybe migrate them down to this section. It might be a better idea if we could get them into that bedroom. This is sort of the premium headquarters for people who want to recruit quickly. In fact, uh, that should be fairly simple. All we have to do is delete their bed, and then they should be automatically moved to the next best prisoner bed that's available, which would either be up here, oh, probably actually down here. This one's got a space because we accidentally killed someone down there. Perfect. We'll, uh, we'll make sure Teapot gets, joins us quickly and gets, uh, gets reunited with their spouse. I'm not sure we can support this many prisoners. I'm, maybe I bit off a little bit more than I could chew with 56 prisoners simultaneously. Um, just food-wise, I'm not sure we're able to keep up. Well, actually... We've run out of fine meals because we've run out of meat and, well, yeah, we've just really increased our population quite substantially in terms of food. We definitely are producing enough uh, corn. Well, we definitely have enough stockpiles of food. We just have to convert them all into meals. I think we're going to be living on simple meals for a while, which is going to hurt morale quite a bit. It's unfortunate, but I think it's our only option right now. To speed things along, there is a couple of inspirations we have knocking about. The first one belongs to sh number six, Sean McCabe. They've actually got an inspired recruitment. And the first person we're going to recruit is this person who is the wife of Uber Kitten, because, or... Yeah, husband of Uber Kitten. Might as well, you know, keep it in the family, so to speak. And then we'll have to probably pick someone who's got the worst... Actually, no, we do have about three other relatives we could recruit. Well, we have a little bit of a problem. By a little bit of a problem, I mean a prison break. And by a little, I mean 25. 20, 25 prisoners are trying to escape. Um, yeah, I thought about this for a while and then said, you know what, I'm going to save this and leave it till morning, Francis, to deal with. Yeah, that, that that poor Muggins can take care of it. Well, I'm here now, and uh, yeah, I, I have no idea how to deal with this. this 30, 25 prisoners? We don't even have enough animals to, to block that. Plus, we have three pawns who are already in here, and uh, Sonico is in here as well. But Sonico, I told you to jump, buddy. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, I think Scotty here is probably going to have a bad day. They're going to be surrounded. Oh. Sonico, out the door immediately. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, Scott's going to go over there. And we're not even trying to, like, keep not shoot them. We're going to just shoot them. There, there's no choice. There's just too many. There's going to be some deaths. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, you get in there and join in. Christ, so many. Uh, one second while I turn off friendly fire. I don't want people accidentally shooting people they shouldn't be. Right, everyone's set to flee. Let's see if we can't contain them. Yeah, there's another dead prisoner. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah, another one. That's fine. In all fairness, there was no way this was going to end well. 
<laughs> God. Thankfully, uh, yeah, you guys are all good. So back to work. Maybe rescue some of those prisoners if you wouldn't mind. Uh, guys, I I think you beat them all down. That's uh, never mind. We'll get there. <laughs> How many would we lose? Okay, seven seven human corpses. That's actually pretty rough. We might want to strip out some of the prisoners, but this should leave as a warning to the rest of them. Yeah, like just just don't mess with us, you know. <laughs> Holy Christ. Um, we might want to spread out some of the prisoners. I'm going to see about uh, maybe spreading a few of them out around this area, this area, and this area, just to cut down on the amount in here, because I think otherwise we're just going to have mass prison breaks constantly until we've killed enough of them. To help with some of the uh, prisoners with the worst moods, we've been uh, administering some uh, uh, some smoke leaf, just because. Why not? We've got plenty of smoke leaf in stock, and if this keeps them happy for a little bit while longer and makes them less likely to revolt, all the better. We've taken some of... Oh, no. How many? How many have gotten it? Oh, just one. That's actually... Fine, for a second I thought it was going to be like 50 people or something because our medicine stocks have been drastically reduced recently. Your gut worms are going to be a big problem for you, buddy. Oh, come on. It's the one that's closest to... Fine, we'll use decent medicine on you. Nearly because all of our herbal medicine is gone. We've used it all on all of our new prisoners. How many have we got left? We have 45. We've already recruited two, though, so... Eh, it's being a good day so far. And surprise, surprise, it's time for a second prison break. This time it's... Yeah, there's a load of them. They're all going to try and break out. Uh, I'm going to try and cut them off at the pass. Perfect. Uh, now, I'm going to try it slightly differently this time. I'm going to try and not... Oh. No. No, no, no. It's the wrong one. We're going to get you to stand there. I'm going to try not getting them to shoot everyone. We're just going to have them hold position outside and we'll let the animals do the talking. Okay, here comes more. Perfect. Oh, I think we might have to. There is just... They're, they're bug bunching up a lot. All right, fine. You, uh... Ooh. Let's make an example of some of them. Paul at the back there. She has a resistance of 24. So why don't you two just uh, shoot some bullets into her? See if that convinces her to stop. And you. Which one is... Which one of you is the least likely to get recruited? Stumpy. You know what, Stumpy? Let's just uh, throw a couple of bullets into you as well. See if that convinces him to stop. Nope. Nope. And if, you, and if you want another go, you know what? I think I'm just going to have to let them open fire. Otherwise, we're going to lose more animals. Ow! Okay, fine. You, you, that's the way you want it. Hey, how did you get out? Someone got past the animals. Okay, everyone, weapons free. We have also summoned in reinforcements. This is becoming rather messy. Yeah, I think guns are just the solution to any prison break problems we have. And here comes some more people. Excellent. And there's our bear. Nice. How many of them are still alive? Oh, another one bites the dust. You guys uh, all get down here and help out at this section, please. I don't think there's any way to capture this many prisoners without at least having a bunch of prison breaks. I mean, we could put individual containment areas for all of them, but that's just going to get messy. Uh, you guys just, uh, you know what? Start on the rescue spree over there. God, that's a mess. After the last two prison break attempts, we are down by uh, 240. I think we started with 53 and we recruited two, so that means 11 have died in prison break so far. You really think as they queued up to get shot, they'd be like, you know what, this prison break doesn't seem like it's going too well. They seem to have guns and animals attacking us. Maybe we should stop. But no, 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 they're very uh, pig-headed. I think they will be wonderful, wonderful bonds. They, they seem just the same as all the rest. Alright, over here we've been, I've just been letting these accumulate, but uh, I I basically tried all the silent levels. I gave out uh, silings to up uh, like 10 people. Not one single one of them got the word of trust, which would have been really nice. It really would have helped us with the uh, recruitment speed. I was really hoping to get about one in five, but it's nowhere close to that. Not even within a mile of it. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, or if it's just the way word of trust is one of the rarer ones you can get. But we'll have to find out, I suppose. And oh my god, my medicine is gone. Well, that's a problem. Well, I sort of let the prisoners have access to the real good stuff, and because, you know, there was a massive culling. That, though, could be a problem. Uh, yeah, we already have some... Oh, actually, we do have some more medicine over here. Perfect, we do have some herbal medicine in stock that we can draw upon, though I think I'm going to have to plant a giant field of herbal. Just, just to tide us over, because this is getting out of control. In terms of the medicine front, I really underestimated how much medicine we were going to need. Oh, time for a little fun. 
Cold snap. Okay, well, there was a few rhino revenges over here. Uh, unfortunately, Shepard, yeah, they're a wimp, so they took one hit and just went straight down. Or was it two? Yeah, never mind. We, we managed to take out the rhinos. There was a little bit of injuries here and there, but it's okay. Uh, cold snap-wise, though, this could be a minor inconvenience. We've got to go around and start installing fires everywhere. I already had one fire active in pretty much all of our crop areas, except for the ones that already were being heated by the uh, coolers. Yeah, the, the ones that were in the fridge exhaust area. But if we don't get some fires in place, we're going to lose an awful lot of our crops. It's already zero degrees outdoors and it's definitely going to get down to about minus 10, minus 15. At the same time, we've moved all our cows out of here. If we leave the cows in there, they only have a, a maximum safe allowable temperature of minus 10. So we need to actually move them. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Minimum comfortable temperature. They can't go below that. If you go below that, they start getting frostbite and will die. So we need to move them out of the fridge during that period. Otherwise, we leave them on top of the simple meal so they can keep eating. Just uh, one of those hot potato things we're going to have to deal with every time a cold snap kicks in. All right, let's just uh, let me micromanage here to make sure all of our crops don't die. Another thing that's kind of nice for us is these two prisoners have become lovers, which was unlikely, but seems to have happened. Was it new lovers? Yeah, Kennedy and Nadine. Um, well, you're already sharing a bed, so... Not a problem, I suppose. Just uh, random luck. Actually, what are the resistance in the 9.1 and 5.3? Mm, actually, we might even be able to recruit them soon enough. I put some of the hardest to recruit people down here, namely because I thought it'd be easy to get rid of them. This one has serious wake-up withdrawal, and this one I think they had a relative die or something. Never mind, whoever had really low mood, I chucked them off into areas. Side areas like over here, we've got Yatsu. Uh, where is it? No. Ah, damn it. Why? Oh, I think that one, yeah, brother. Brother died, and this one over here. Oh, God, we're buffed by Kate. You know what? You, you prisoners got to stop hooking up with each other. All right, uh, all done, all done. Work for at Inspired Taming by Jarek. Now, what's the bets? They're not really good at anything. Like, if we go in here, we can sort by inspirations, and we've got an Inspired Taming from, where is it? Jarek, was it? Yeah, their animal skill is eight. That's actually the best one I've seen so far. They could tame a bear if one showed up. Unfortunately, we've only got a Mega Sloth, which is... Oh. Hey, maybe someone will get inspiration and they'll have ten in animals. You never know. Well, Randy's not done with us today. I was hoping to, like, just skip forward as much as possible and get all the new recruits in. But still, they just will not break. If we go to the prisoners here, resistance remaining. We've got three of them that are, are ready to be recruited, but just won't turn to the dark side. I mean, the light side. We're definitely the good guys, probably. But we do have another raid showing up, but unfortunately it's not more recruits. These are sappers, and because they're sappers, they're going to be able to avoid our hotbox, which means, yeah, we're just going to have to kill them. Now, I've got Sonico on the way over. Sonico, uh, great thing about them. Oh, damn it, there's too many. <laughs> Even this is becoming problematic now because they... It's the way, never mind. Uh, yes, they have a aerodrone strike. We're going to use that aerodrone strike on these because it's renewable. And then we're going to have this team here kill whatever is left. Yeah, so we're just going to bring in everyone. Well, pretty much. Uh, let's get them all over here. Ooh, you know, let's make a nice line. Yep, that looks about right. That should allow us to do some terrible damage. Now, all of the animals are set to come back inside, so that should keep them safe. We are still in the middle of a cold snap, so we have to do have to be careful. And, oh my god, the game is not liking that one bit. <laughs> There's so much going on. I suppose we could get closer to the wall and just start riddling them down as they try and come through. That might be a better idea. They're going to start digging at the wall, and if we're there waiting for them on the other side with an enormous team of people, we might be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Though, oh, no, they'll be tr they'll be through long before we get there. Yeah, that's a problem. Let's see. Yeah, we might have to pull back. Yeah, oh, we definitely have to pull back. They are way too fast at that. Okay, all you guys back here. Uh, you know what? Stay near the water. That's a good idea. And where's Sonico? Sonico, we need you right now. Oh, Sonico is inbound. They're on their way. Eh, come on, come on. How many others here? Yeah, 95. Yeah, this should be fairly handy. Especially considering the amount of machine guns we have. Something... What was that? Solar flare? Ah! Okay, electrical radiate. That will... Well, that's awkward. Yeah, this, this exact reason is why we use fires to heat up these areas. If we did not have fires in here right now, yeah, everything would die. Um, the reason being, if you're using heaters to heat these areas, you'd end up with, well, the heater is just going out about now, and the cold snap killing all your crops, which could be a very big negative for us. And uh, just make sure the rest of them are done. You know what? That is enough. Everywhere else is covered. Whew, perfect. 
Okay, let's get everyone in position. Ooh, no, they're they're coming in at too much of an angle. You know what? Uh, let's get a uh, let's get the team better positioned. We're going to have everyone move over this direction. Dear Lord, this game just sort of it's gotten simpler and simpler. The the larger the amount of people we've got, there's no need for any complicated. Oh, damn it! They've split up. Well, that's going to make Sonic go not nearly as useful. I was gonna. Never mind. One down, and two down. Jesus. We are going to take a few hits here, it is unfortunate, but where are you guys going? Turn around and come back in here and die. Okay, all of you guys, you know what, we'll get everyone here to move forward a little bit. Some of those have longer range bows and we need to make sure we get close enough to shoot them all. And done. Come on, come on. Oh, yes, that was another thing I forgot, wasn't it? If it's a solar flare, we need to zoom all the way out. Oh, actually, no, it's not a solar flare. I was thinking of a, uh, a solar eclipse. Never mind, solar eclipse are fine. And um, come on, seriously? I was kind of hoping those guys would stay in here. There's only 53 of them. We didn't even kill half of them and they broke and ran. Is that normal now? I, used to th I thought it was up to two thirds. And one of them has survived. Ugh, death in four hours. Honestly, I don't think you're going to survive, buddy. In fact, we'll just uh, let everyone get back to work. Well, that mess did give to some uh, herbal medicine, which was kind of nice. We needed it. Uh, at the same time, that pawn did survive. Correct. Uh, whatever they're called. We'll be changing their name, assuming that we actually get to recruit them, though. That could take a while, considering that they've got a resistance of 94. That's, that's a lot. Right, hopefully soon we're going to recruit a few. We've only got two people recruited so far, and despite all of the inspirations we've got recently, none of them have been for recruitment. Which is kind of crazy, considering the amount of recruiters we have. Okay, we'll get rid of all of that. Oh, and there's a... Someone's going to have a marriage in a bit. We'll, we'll worry about it when it happens. We have some new additions to the team. First up, we've got 76, the Luke. Going straight into mining because, well, they're good at it, and everyone's just getting specialised at this point. They're a volatile, optimistic psychopath. Because, of course they are, with no health conditions whatsoever. I've got to give them a mining drill arm just to get them uh, super sorted. Since this did come up in the comments, when it comes to the drill arm, it do does actually help when it comes to using the uh, subterranean drills or these mining drills. It just does not help as much. If you check under here, you can actually go in and check out the stats. So you've got your, uh, was it, uh, mining speed. So you get 160% for having the drill arm. However, for deep drilling speed, you only get a plus 70% bonus. So it doesn't help you quite as much, but it is useful considering that these things do take a long time to operate. And a 70% bonus? Who could say no? For number 77, we have Bagel. Uh, they're a doctor. They're also going to be a warden and a little bit of science. Honestly, they don't really have much going for them considering that art is pretty much covered by everyone else. Chemical interest, misogynist, jogger. We have an awful lot of people with chemical addictions in this in this place. Uh, I don't know what it is. For number 78, we have Darth Bader. Darth Bader? Batter? Batter or Bader? Oh, we're going to go with Batter. Darth Bader. Uh, they're going straight for cleaning and hauling. Namely because, well, we don't want an artist. We've already got crafting covered and... Oh, I'm, I'm very tempted to make them a brawler, but the problem is we just have so many people, a single brawler or even five or six, you would never get them to where we need them in time before everyone else just riddles it full of bullets. So I'm afraid they're just going to be a clean hauler who's going to end up being very unhappy. Well, I suppose they are a brawler. We'll have to give them a, a close combat weapon at some point. Next up, we have pawn number 79, Christazax. Christax? Christazax. God damn it. Names. Okay, they will be going straight into mining because, well, they've got a mining passion and why not? Uh, I don't want to put them into cooking. They'll, they'll poison half the place before they get, get out of that and social, not worth it. So, yeah, and also that neurotic will be really good combined with it. Welcome to the team, Krista Zax. We're going with, yeah, that's what we're going, Krista Zax. Pawn number 80 and our fifth one of the episode, Bertie Mansbridge. They're going straight into wardening and mining. Like, there's just, that's a lot of miners recently. I really wish we got some people better at plants and animals. We need a few of those. But it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Undergrounder, trigger happy, incapable of firefighting. And loads of health conditions because we've been shooting people full of bullets. That's actually been a whole bunch of new recruits. Also, two of our other prisoners over here have decided to become lovers. Isabella and Shafult. You know what, whatever. Those names are not going to stay that way. Uh, for prisoners? Yeah. How do I make them choose the same bed? P 
hole number 81, Richard Benkovsky, uh, cleaning and hauling because, well, they kind of suck at everything. The only thing they're good at is shooting, so they'll end up in hunting, of course. Uh, they're a nimble cannibal that's a careful shooter. Uh, welcome to the team, buddy. You, of course, have lots of SMG injuries because everyone does. Also, put on some pants. It's the middle of a cold snap and no one likes someone chatting around in the nip. Oh, what are you doing there? Uh, we'll grab all of you. Hold them out. Hold them out of the way. Uh, we've had to bring all the chickens inside as well. I didn't want any of them getting uh, any frostbite either. How many unfertilized eggs are there? Okay, four unfertilized eggs. That's great. Our chicken population has definitely exploded a lot, and our fine meals are actually doing wonderful. We're down to what, 125, 126? We're almost stable, with all the combination of chickens and cows combined is doing as well. Though I do have to... You know what? I think we can bring these back in. This cold snap... It's not actually bringing the temperature down here, here too low. Is that minus nine or so on there? I think, yeah, we, we can send the cows back in. Oh, thankfully, the cold snap just ended. That is wonderful. You know, that means we can turn off all the fires. Actually, wait, no, I have to leave on a few. Pawn number 82, JV, wardening and cleaning. Namely because they're good at social, well, they're also going to be a bit of a doctor. From what I'm seeing, there's not a lot of variants going on in these last few pawns. We don't really have many options. I really love some more plants and animals, people. Uh, transhumanist, chemical interest, sickly. Hmm. Bit of a mixed bag, really. And they have gut worms in it, because of course they do. And they're also riddled with bullets. Uh, I do like, though, that they're going to put on some panther fur pants. Yeah, that's a good choice. Also, they're going to go get a submachine gun. I'm trying to make sure everyone's equipped up and good to go. Oh, this, this is an eclipse. This is an eclipse. That knocks out the sun, which means all of our batteries are about to start plummeting, are they? Yep, 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 that's uh, that's far too much. Immediately grab all of those, and done. That's all of them switched off. Perfect. Did I miss anything? I'll have to double check, but as far as I'm aware, we... Oh, wait, yeah, that one. Oops. Yeah, that one is not actually meant to be hooked up yet, because we don't have the power to run it. But soon, soon we will. And another recruit, number 83, Mr. KS42, straight into building because they've got construction and that is so rare we cannot not use it. Uh, they've also got a, a, a plant skill, so we're going to put them in planting as a secondary. Very neurotic, which will help their global work speed, but also unfortunately hurt their mental break threshold. But they're an optimist on top of that and they're kind, which is, is kind of nice because they lost a leg. It got shut off at some point. I'm going to assume that was probably us. I'll get him a peg leg for now. I'd promise to get them bionics, but you know what? At this stage, we have so many people waiting for bionics. It's just, I, I can't ever see it happening. Well, we'll let them to work. It's been a, a busy day for recruitment, and we got lots more prisoners to go. I should probably point out, we have a lot of, uh, well, we have several prisoners going berserk every so often. It just happens. There's nothing much we can do to avoid it. At the same time, we uh, we end up with so many social fights. I, I really feel like I should just make a montage of all the social fights I've had to try and break up. It just keeps happening constantly. Okay, seriously? How have you not beaten that person into a submission? Oh, they have a melee skill of 12. Yeah, even though they were butt naked, that, that probably explains why they were so tough. Right then. Okay, let's skip this forward a little bit more. I want to try and get in one more recruit, or maybe two before the end of this episode. Number 84, Taylor Furman. Furman? 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 Okay, building and animals, namely because they've got a passion in construction and you just have to jump on that. We don't care about intellectual at this point because, well, we've done all the research. Nervous, ugly and kind. Uh, can't do dumb labour or, or artistic and health-wise they're in good condition. They'll be useful. As long as the construction holds out, we'll be fine. Our tenth pawn of the day, which I think is a new record for us, is Adam Jabrowski. They will be going, just cook. Dedicated cook, nothing else, which is great because we need another cook. The amount of people we have is sort of, uh, it's leaving our cooks short-staffed. Uh, night owl, tough, kind, cleaning, intellectual and dumb labour, they cannot do. So they're very, very specialised. <laughs> they're basically going to do cooking and that's uh, and uh, wardening, that's it. There's nothing else they can do. No health conditions to speak of. They can uh, go get stuck in. And I think, one second, where is our quest? Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to cut that out for the day, because what I want to do next, I want to do this pod swarm. Now, this will provoke an infestation of 91 hives. I like the idea of that. Um, she wants to draw the bugs towards you. Yeah, we'll take the honour. We'll grab the honour, because I don't really see a point of grabbing any of the rest of these. That honour will get our next person. Who is the? Who is it? That eight honour will take Zack all the way up to night. Meaning they can also get uh, the transport shuttle, which means we can start heading up two empire cities. 
What I really want to get my hands on is a kill-focused weapon so that we can use that for, well, we could farm a whole bunch of words of trust or, well, there's lots of things we could farm with it. But if we can get our hands on one of those, so handy. And plus, that pod swarm. All of those bugs. Think about the amount of insect jelly we're going to get out of that. We literally have a dedicated insect storage, insect jelly storage area down here, and it's empty. We can fill that sucker up with that many hives showing up on the map. But uh, I suppose that we're going to need to build another uh, sleeping area. We, we have to pretend another one of these because, well, we're hiring people at a rapid rate. That's 10 people we've just hired today. This place is going to fill up pretty quickly, I should imagine. And as well as that, I've had to change all of these to prison beds just to stop people randomly staying here. These are all dedicated for specific types of pawns. I think this is working out quite well. I've cut back on the amount of action, unfortunately, I know, but it's just so that we could bulk up recruitment and start doing it faster. And this has paid off. We're now recruiting at speed. And as well as that, we still have another 32 prisoners to recruit. And I mean, if you look at it, two of them are already close to breaking and... Yeah, I think this is going to be a success. Anyway, I have work in the morning in not too many hours from now and I need to get some sleep. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Mm -hmm.